Hi there, I'm Mark Marshall from Sand Dealer Conservation. Today's chat is about geckos. Now, everybody's got geckos in their house, in their yards, all over the place. People find them in their cars. Geckos occupy most parts of the world. And these little guys, we know them as these little tiny little lizards that stick to walls. Now, the reason why they can stick to walls is because under their toes, they've got millions of teeny tiny little hairs called setae. And that allows them to actually stick or grip onto walls or pillows or cloths or anything like that. That's why we find them on the top of our roof or on the walls. Now, when you're sleeping at night, I hear the story often when something falls from the roof and lands on the person's head. Yep, that is a little gecko. Okay, sometimes the sita don't work very well and the little guy slips off the roof and lands on you whilst you're sleeping and then obviously you get a fright. But remember, that's a gecko. Geckos are not dangerous. If you find a gecko in your house, in your garden, you're welcome to pick them up. There's no gecko in South Africa that is poisonous or venomous. All right, Poisonous means you can eat it and it might kill you. Venomous means if it bites you, it can kill you. But our geckos are fine. The only problem with our geckos is that if you squish them or squeeze them or hurt them, they will drop their tails off. It's a defense mechanism because they think they're about to be eaten. So they wag their tail and they hope that the predator grabs the tail. They pop the tail off and they run away to safety. So it's always interesting when a little child to see this happening, but don't do it very often because it's, it's not very good for the gecko. That tail is actually a survival strategy because obviously escaping, but also that little gecko stores its food in its tail in, the ter- in terms of fat reserves. So when it eats and eats and eats, a lot of the fat is actually stored in the gecko's tail. So in times of harsh, when there's no food around, it'll absorb food from its tail to survive. So without that, it's going to be a very hungry little gecko. And also, the, the fact is it does not grow back immediately. It can take up to a year almost to grow back properly. All right, so don't do that. Now, everyone thinks geckos only come at night time. No, we get them active in the day and night, depending on what gecko it is. And also, geckos that live in the desert sandy areas, they don't have the little sticky feet. So these little guys will run around in the desert, and if they get little sticky feet, they will get sand between their toes all day. So that's why they don't have that, right? So mainly our geckos are the sticky ones that we get on the roofs and all over the place. But geckos are amazing because... They are world travelers. We have geckos in PE that shouldn't actually be here. These guys are from East Africa, all over the world, and they actually come and visit us by hooking on ships. They jump onto a ship in a harbor overseas, and all of a sudden the ship arrives right here in South Africa, and boom, they hop off. All you need is a couple of them, and a new colony starts. And even more, us South Africans, we love camping, so we will sit get a pair of these geckos accidentally into our caravan or our car. We drive to another nature reserve somewhere else or all far away into a nice little campsite and boom, the two geckos release there and they start a colony there. So that's why certain geckos that shouldn't be here have totally taken over and enjoyed themselves because that's the best thing they can do. They are happy. Everything is great for them and yes, they will start populating the world. So there's certain geckos that actually occupy every continent in this world now because of this situation. So geckos in South Africa are not dangerous, beautiful little guys. They can actually bite you a little bit, but nothing will happen to you because they're not poisonous or venomous. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much. You can log on to sandula.co.za or follow me on Facebook, Sandula Conservation. Thank you.